Chris, you and I may be starting a couple of little fires, so just to be on the safe side, I have a bucket of water, which okay. I'll put down over here. Well, that's pretty smart. Okay, now, here is a glass lens. There's the sun, and there's a piece of paper. You ought to know what to do, right? Oh, uh, well, kind You've of. done this before? Yeah, a few what times. What do you do? Okay, well, I think you've got to take it like this and aim, aim it so the sun's going right through here and just concentrate it into a little spot. Right. So it'll start burning the paper. Okay, and it started burning the paper. A little hole. Okay. Now here's, here's another hot. glass one, but notice the thickness of that. Yeah. It's, try, well, try concentrating the light with that one. Okay. Got to find yeah. the sun. Well, it doesn't seem to be burning much. No, because it's a, certainly a bigger spot. But notice it works in the same way that the glass lens did, didn't it? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Okay, now try this one. Oh. Here's one that's a flat piece of plastic, see it? That's pretty thin. Yeah, okay, try burning a hole with that one. Let's hold it up and get the lights concentrated on it like that. Okay. Wow. Oh, it's on fire, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty big mark. Yeah, it did it pretty quickly, too, oh. didn't it? Well. What I don't understand yeah. is why this big, th why did this big thick one do it slower than this, this thin the one, thin one. thin one? Well, I'll tell you, that's because this is a special kind of uh, lens called a Fresnel lens. Fresnel? I, yeah, Fresnel, and I think I can explain it to you better if we go inside. So come on. Okay. Whoops. I'll take this with me. So Chris, this is the lens that you've played with, yes, right? Yes, the one I used in the backyard. Right, okay, but you've also played with a lens like this that has a curved surface on the front. Mm -hmm. Well, this is my diagram of that. Okay. And let's trace the rays of light like scientists do. You start, okay. trace with your finger, trace the center beam. Okay, it just goes along there and hits the lens right. and just goes right through. Right, straight through and comes out over here. Now trace the top one. Okay, it does the same thing. Okay. And comes Let's along stop and right hits there. the lens. Because notice what happens to it. It curves. Yes, it's bent right there, isn't it? Because of the... Because it, of the curve of the glass. Okay. Okay. Then it continues on over to here. Now trace the next, the bottom one. Okay, it does the same thing as the other one. Then it hits the lens, and because of the angle, it'll bend again. And right, and it comes up here. And hits the bottom of light. So notice that all the bending of the light takes place only on the outside here where the glass is curved. Yeah. And none of this part in the center here is necessary because the light's going straight there. Okay, so point. remember that now, because we're going to make a plastic lens. Here's my plastic lens, yeah? Okay. That looks just like this one, right? Mm -hmm. okay. It's a little bigger, though. A little bigger, yeah. Now, I'll take the outside out. There's okay. the outside. Now, here's the next intersection, and I've cut it into two pieces. Which piece do you want? Uh, this one? Why? Because of the curve? Because it's got the curve on the top, sure. Okay, so I just put it in here. Right. Here are two more pieces. Which one do you want? The top one, because mm -hmm. of the curve again. Okay. Here's the last piece. Okay, it's well, I'll take the top piece again mm -hmm. because it's got more of a curve than the bottom one. In fact, the bottom doesn't have any curve at all. You see, here's all the glass that we got rid of. Okay, that's And the we now have problems. it all piled up like that, and look. Hey, it looks just like this one, except it doesn't have as many ridges as this one, curved right. ridges. This has more of them, right? Yeah. yeah. Because I made this one myself. But that's the idea of a Fresnel lens. Fresnel lens? Yeah, Fresnel lens. It's called that because a scientist had the problem posed to him of how to get a great big magnifying glass in front of a searchlight. Oh. On a, on a, in, in, and he realized that if he made it as big as he wanted, it would be too heavy. So he got rid of the glass and just made these rings like that. Okay. And today they use them all over the place. They use them in a variation in car headlights and spotlights and all over the place. And like um, uh, magnifying glasses and telescopes and stuff like that? Well, no, they wouldn't use that in a telescope because they, they, they would use an, another system. Here, for example, is the other piece that we used. Yes. Remember it was real thin, burned real fast? Yeah, but it doesn't have any ridges. No, it doesn't. Well, here, rub your hands over it. Okay. With your hey, fingernail well, especially. Okay. I can, really? yeah, I can see some little, uh, feel some little curved ridges on yeah, it. Yeah, you Except there's more than this one. Right, so. lots of them, thousands of them probably. Okay. Yeah, and because it is such, well, it's, it's such a big piece, it'll mm -hmm. magnify too. What? Look at this, what do you see? I see a big red, big, 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 red big fork. fork. <laughs> right, because it is a magnifier, even though you can't see the curve. And because it is such a big one, we concentrated all the light from all this whole area down into a spot, and that's why you were able to burn that hole so much more quickly. 
Okay. Yeah. So, it, it, and sometimes they put these on the, on the back of cars so they can see down in the back. So when you see one, you'll know it's called a Fresnel lens. Boy, you have a big face. And so do you.